This is a new Asus ProArt P16 for 2025, and it is their flagship computer when it comes to curating to creatives and performance, and it's led and powered by the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090. And in front of me, I have the top model that is really able to harness what this computer is able to do when it comes to graphics, video editing, creative work, and specific scenarios that I might run into, such as 4K, 6K, and 8K video editing, all on a portable laptop. It is still powered by the AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX370 CPU, which is already proven to be very powerful, especially for this type of work. And I think what's so great about the Asus lineup is that even if you're someone who crosses over with creative work and professional work, as well as wanting a computer that is able to game, a lot of the lineup is actually able to suit both of those purposes. The monitor behind this is also from the ProArt lineup as well, and it is proven to be a great monitor no matter what computer that you use, and also versatile for gaming applications as well, which is something that, for example, Apple doesn't offer that ecosystem flexibility to work with all of your devices. So jumping right into this laptop, it is a 16 inch model right here. And the P16 in particular has this very nice build to it that has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which is what is preferred for productivity but it also has a sleek and minimal design. It is pretty much the same design scheme as last year when you take a look at it, and they just try to make it very understated, focused on very premium materials, one that is able to go with you, but also withstand different scenarios. It is still a very sleek computer. It's simple, it's professional, the speakers are very impressive as well. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later, especially on the 16 inch model where you have a bit more room. The keyboard and track pad is also very well placed with the trackpad being large enough to be able to use as your main input for editing. There's also a dial pad that's been around for a few years now, which allows for precise controls for graphic designers, for example, adjusting sizes and inputs of like brushes, all built into the trackpad, but I just like how large it is. And when it comes to ports, which is very important in a computer like this, you have your power, HDMI, USB-A, headphone jack, another USB-C port, another USB-A, and an SD card slot. And with the ability to spec it up to two terabytes internally, you can also use the second slot to expand the total storage built in to four terabytes of fast NVMe internal storage, which is great. The display on the other hand is the Asus Pro Lumina display, which is an OLED panel. And on this highest end model, it features a 120 Hertz refresh rate, a peak brightness of 1600, very important for creatives, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut. And with the 4K resolution, you have a ton of space to work with. And I mean, you guys can probably tell from this video just how beautiful and vibrant this display is. And across the entire ProArt lineup, they really focus on factory calibration to ensure that you're colors are accurate, especially if you're working with graphic design, video editing. And one of the features specifically on the Lumina Pro OLED is that it has an anti-reflection coating that reduces light reflection by 65% improving clarity. It's something you really have to see in person, but this is definitely in the top end of best laptop displays that I've personally seen. And with the 120 Hertz refresh rate, that is not only important for motion graphics and people who do like animation, but if you decide to game on it, I feel like that is a very important feature to have 120 Hertz and VRR. So if you want to transition from creative work to gaming on a whim, you can definitely do so in a workflow like this. And this computer is actually a touchscreen as well, whether that matter to you or not. So performance is probably the biggest reason as to why you should upgrade to the latest generation of the ProArt P16. And if you compare it to the previous generation's top-end graphics option of an RTX 4070, it is roughly one and a half to two times faster just from synthetic benchmarks and gaming, with some benchmarks performing over two times higher and also delivering better performance in the form of efficiency as well. So if you're using this computer on battery, it not only gives you more power when you're not connected, 
limited, but it also gives you a longer use time as well. Of course, efficiency comes in a few different forms. Not only is it presented in the display technology being an OLED screen, despite its high brightness, which oftentimes can feed into each other being a push and a pull. But the other dimension comes in the form of the actual cooling of the computer. And this computer actually has an ambient cooling technology and vapor chamber that is able to dissipate heat. Vapor chambers seem to be the most common feature that you wanna look out for in both smartphones and computers as the gold standard in keeping a computer nice and cool, allowing it to effectively run at both higher clock speeds, but also more efficiently as well. The 5090 also allows you to spec up to 24 gigabytes of VRAM compared to just eight gigabytes on the previous year's RTX 4070. So there's some pretty significant jumps when it comes to the pure power paired with the AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX 370 and a setup that can really be utilized in tasks where having more performance that is applicable to the use case will translate into direct real world time savings when it comes to exporting, for example. As a creative, the biggest reason to upgrade a computer is purely down to performance. And the way you justify spending the money on a new computer, which in this case isn't cheap, is by getting objective differences when it comes to how much time you're able to save and ultimately leading to how much more money you're able to make, more peace of mind you're able to have when you're trying to deliver work on a timely basis, especially in mass volumes. From using DaVinci Resolve to edit my videos, exporting it out, stabilizing, adding effects and stuff, the performance was amazing. And for a computer that can really double as a desktop and an on-the-go laptop, having that performance is important because it provides versatility. And so when it comes to performance, I definitely noticed a pretty obvious difference when it came to the previous generation, just based on export times. Being able to render more different things at once without having to wait for one task to complete over another has also been really handy. And when it comes to photo editing and you're doing large batches with noise reductions, AI applications, having more processing power is also an area where you're going to notice a difference. Some of the other creative tools that are built in already include Copilot. So being able to access Copilot directly through the press of a button is really nice. That is good for administrative work, for organization. But on top of that, Asus exclusive AI apps such as StoryCube and MuseTree, you have AI tools as well as image generation and organization built right into the computer. So for this year's Pro Art launch in particular, Asus actually teamed up with GoPro, who is a household name in the camera and action camera space, to showcase StoryCube and how it is able to seamlessly integrate with GoPro and their ecosystem to give you a very smooth experience. Just talking about the GoPro itself, this is the brand new GoPro Max 2, which is their latest and greatest 360 degree camera that is able to capture at an 8K resolution, which is something that we have been testing out through our editing processes on the ProArt P16. And just being able to deal with 8K footage, reframe it and format it on a laptop is impressive on its own, but this camera is able to give you a true 8K 360 video with up to 21% more resolution than competition, and it also has 10-bit color with GP log, which is important when it comes to having the latitude and the bit rate to be able to grade your footage and stretch the colors a little bit and integrate with some of the other footage that we capture, while being able to capture 29 megapixel, 360 degree photos, while also having the option of having replaceable lenses and different optic lengths, StoryCube actually ties in with GoPro Cloud. And Asus offers an all-in-one solution for effortless GoPro camera footage management. And StoryCube lets creators easily transfer, preview, and organize their photos and videos directly from GoPro devices, streamlining their entire workflow. So through this whole experience, we were able to test out how this computer was able to handle 8K and also see what StoryCube is all about and the specific partnership in integrating it with GoPro Cloud. They actually also include a GoPro Premium Plus subscription as well. So at the end of the day, what do I think about this computer? And honestly, a lot of it was very straightforward. I've had a great experience with previous generations of Pro Art computers, but as always, as a creative, you want the most powerful option available. And this year's update with the RTX 50 series is quite significant. When it comes to power, it is able to deliver quite a bit more, but at the same time, it is a computer that costs a lot of money. And so it isn't something that you would typically switch year after year. 
So if you're coming from a few generations ago, I feel like it can make a lot of sense and you will notice the biggest difference that could be worth spending thousands and thousands of dollars. But everything else is still very familiar and was great before when it comes to the display, the actual hardware, the form factor. And if you're someone who wants to use this for multiple purposes of both gaming as well as creative work and for just enjoying watching like a movie or a TV show on here, it is a very full-fledged experience that comes in a very sleek design in this matte black finish. And I also forgot to mention, it features a six speaker stereo sound system that has a very immersive crystal clear experience that comes from the top and also the bottom. And it also has Dolby Atmos support and triple mics built in. So there isn't any like obvious shortcomings with this computer, but it's one where you have to be able to take advantage of to be able to fork up the price of a spec out model like this, especially if you want to have the 120 Hertz VRR refresh rate. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, let me know in the comments section below what you think, and I'll see you all in the next one.